watch this before choosing a bearing. Ever wondered what keeps your car wheels spinning, your fan running, or massive industrial machines moving smoothly? It's all thanks to bearings, the unsung heroes of engineering. But did you know that using the wrong type of bearing can cause breakdowns, costly repairs, and even total machine failure? From ball bearings for high-speed action to roller bearings built for heavy-duty loads, each type has a specific job. Choosing the right one can save you money, time, and headaches. Stay till the end as we break down the most common bearing types, their real-world applications, and expert maintenance tips to keep your machines running longer. Drop a comment if you've ever dealt with a bearing failure, let's talk solutions. And don't forget to like and share this video with anyone working with machines. A ball bearing works by reducing friction between moving parts, allowing smooth rotation. It consists of key components, an inner ring, an outer ring, balls, a cage to separate the balls, and sometimes seals or shields to keep out debris. The balls roll between the rings, minimizing contact and friction. Ball bearings are used because they increase efficiency, reduce wear, and support loads and machinery. Proper maintenance, such as regular cleaning and lubrication, ensures durability and prevents failures, enhancing performance and longevity. A well-maintained bearing keeps operations smooth and reliable. Roller bearings play a vital role in machinery by reducing friction and supporting radial and axial loads, enabling smooth and efficient movement. They consist of four main parts, the inner ring, outer ring, rollers, and cage, which keeps the rollers properly spaced for optimal performance. Proper maintenance is key to ensuring a long lifespan. Regularly check for wear, clean the bearings, and apply the correct lubrication to prevent overheating and damage. Inspect seals for leaks and always use quality replacement parts when needed. For a thrust bearing is designed to handle axial, thrust, loads, supporting rotational parts like shafts. It uses rolling elements, balls or rollers, sandwiched between bearing races to reduce friction and support axial forces. Advantages 1. Handles high axial loads effectively. 2 reduces friction and wear. 3. Improves machine efficiency. Disadvantages. 1. Limited radial load capacity. 2. Requires precise alignment. 3. Can be costly for specialized designs. Difference from ordinary bearings. Ordinary bearings primarily handle radial loads, while thrust bearings specialize in supporting axial loads. Ordinary bearings often use different geometries for load distribution. Ever wondered how machines handle extreme loads with minimal friction? Meet the needle bearing, a small but mighty game changer in engineering. Unlike ball bearings, needle bearings use long, thin rollers to distribute weight efficiently, reducing friction and wear. They shine in tight spaces where traditional bearings won't fit, think transmissions, automotive components, and high-speed machinery. When you need precision, durability, and efficiency, needle bearings deliver. If you found this useful, like, share, and subscribe for more powerful insights.